In this video, I will show you how to fix inaccurate shadows when enabling Nanite. This issue commonly occurs when Nanite is activated on an object with a large number of polygons, such as a tree. To address this, there are two methods that can be applied. First, you can disable ray tracing shadows in the direct lighting properties. Second, you can modify the value of the fallback relative error in the object properties. Now, let's start with the first method. Let's find the directional light actor in the outliner. In the search bar, type ray to locate the option cast ray traced shadow. Then, select disable to deactivate it. If I activate the foliage actor consisting of several vegetation objects, the resulting shadows are less than optimal, and even at a distance around the main building, the shadows disappear. Now, I will re-enable the cast ray traced shadow and proceed with the second method. Here's how. Select the object experiencing this issue, in this case, the tree. Then, choose the static mesh location of this tree. Double-click to open its static mesh properties. Look for the option Fallback Relative Error and change its value to 0. Finally, save your changes. Now, the shadow issue is resolved, and the shadows on grass and shrub objects remain accurate. 